If you need portions, you should try Arcadia's Cauldron. I serve Jarl Balgra as steward. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? There must be another way. The risk is too great. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? No Nord could have said it better. I'll stand beside you, Dragonborn. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then, I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons, and this war into the bargain. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Alduin? We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Wind guide you. Aldrich won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers. Only the foolish or the courageous the approach a Jarl without some. Do I know you? It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? 
I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, we're all doomed anyway. And if it isn't true, well, then the fight to free Skyrim goes on. Either way, I don't see the use in talking to the Empire. You speak truly, Dragonborn. Sometimes the grubby business of politics clouds my eyes. Besides, it will be good to see High Hrothgar again. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. He knows that. King Skeevers got warm beds and cold meat. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. The Greybeards have... Men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I 
hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Well said. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to, to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. In return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk with good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. 
You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Damn Imperial arrogance. Out with it, then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation He's for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become <laughs> the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. Ah, 
don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Od Afin, winged snow hunter. That's fine. We need it. Now we do. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. 